All right, guys, so the leaks and updates are officially in. Everything new coming out to Dragon Ball Legends tonight for the weekly reset update. Now, quickly, before we get started, shout out to Pro Digital, Hydros, as well as Grooze Dog. And if you guys do want to keep getting updated here 24 7, everything Dragon Ball Legends, I'm your guy. Just simply like and subscribe, and you guys already know I got you guys covered. Now, quickly, guys, uh, before we get started, because I have a lot of stuff to talk about here. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to go live in a few hours. I might. Okay, how about this, guys? I'll go live to summon on the new LF Omega Shenron banner if this if this video hits a thousand likes or something like that, I'll, I'll probably go live. Um, I, You know, at first glance, I was pretty disappointed that he's green, but he does have indestructible, very much so like games original LF Goku and Bardock. Um, Super 17 is in the banner, which is a good thing. Um, he also has color nullification, which stops Ultra Super Saiyan for Gogeta to a certain extent. So this character is not bad by all means. He's actually quite good. Um, and yeah, I, I might just summon, who knows? I'm not going to go like crazy deep, maybe like 20,000 crystals. Um, I'll probably feel it out. Um, but yeah, I mean, it does help that Super 17 is in the banner. And I want you guys to comment down below. Are you going to be summoning on this banner? Yes or no? Comment down below. But um, but let's get into it. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to get a brand new event called I Am They, We Are One, Unfortunately For You. So, of course, it's... Oh, okay. I didn't even notice this. It's labeled High Difficulty Event. That's pretty interesting. Uh, clear battles and get amazing rewards, which is 100 Legends Limited, uh, Legends Limited Multi-Z Power. And you know what? I, I, I got to shout out Dragon Ball Legends real quick. I love the fact that we have been seeing a ton of LFZ Power, you know, floating around the game here and there. Um, it's really helped out, you know, all my characters and it's good because we've been getting a ton of LFs as well lately. Like for part one, we got two LFs, part two, we got, you know, two more LFs and then like we got another LF right now with Omega Shenron. So I think, I think it's good that they're dishing out so much LFZ bar. So yeah, um, pretty interesting. And by the way, guys, we should be getting the summer update as well very soon. <clears throat> I just also want to show you guys the full artwork for the characters. I do like the full artworks as always. Uh, this is Omega Shenron. And then we got my boy Barney. No, I'm just joking. He's uh, Rage Shenron, which looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, I kind of asked for these uh, side side dragons, uh, these shadow dragons. A uh, few, I think like a month ago on my channel, I was saying, I hope we get uh, Rage. And here we are. We got Rage. So I'm actually quite excited for this. He does have a uh, very interesting ability, which we'll cover in just one bit. So his, one of his abilities is it, he inflict, inflicts. 100% paralyze um, on your first quick attack or on your first strike attack. Okay, we'll read it just to double check on that, but that's pretty crazy. 100% paralyze for just a quick attack. That's pretty cool. Also, we are going to be getting the world tournament uh, season number three. Um, PvP season, okay? So if you guys did not know, there's special rewards from the shop, such as, you know, um, there's like a special title you guys can get. Uh, there's also a special card you guys can get as well. And some like stuff like that, right? If, if you guys rank two times, and there's also a special PvP message. If you guys rank um, one time, you get a special PvP message. If you guys rank, I think it's top 1,000. And if you guys rank top 1,000 two times, you do get a special uh, card sleeve. So yeah, it looks like the World Tournament logo. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool too. Um, and then we also have this. The Marvelous Legends Super Monday. So this is coming back already, which is pretty crazy. And they're labeling uh, this Super so, of course, you guys already know, uh, I actually really like this event a, a lot. Um, I think it, it's really engaging to find like all the treasure chests around the map. I think it's really cool. The rewards are really good. Um, I think the last one we got, the final one, I'm doing quotations here on my on my fingers, but uh, the final one we got, I think we got like, what, 200 um, Chrono Crystals. So, I don't know. If this is super, I would probably expect some Chrono Crystals and maybe hopefully some LFC power because I definitely need it. Um, also, two brand new PvP messages, and they are both Omega Shenron. This probably also means, guys, that we might be getting a Battle Royale. I'm not going to show it to you guys here, but most likely we will be getting a Battle Royale over the weekend, okay? Um, also, a brand new equipment of Barney, okay? I'm just joking. Uh, this guy looks just so funny. Like, it's it's so weird. I kind of like the look. <laughs> he looks so bad, but I kind of like the look of this character. I don't know what it is. Maybe just because he's a dragon. Like, I just find dragons pretty cool, man. I don't know what it is. He looks like a, like, like a duck. Like, I don't know, man. Anyways, we are going to get a brand new frame. So, you know, and this is, of course, 
you know, um, world tournament, you know, frame. Like you can tell it's from the from the new PvP season, right? But I was gonna say these frames and stuff like that. Like nobody really looks at these. Like I, I feel like they gotta make the. I don't know how they're gonna do it, but they gotta make these profiles a little bit more engaging somehow. Like I said, I don't know how they're gonna do that, but I never look at other people's profiles. I'm sure nobody looks at mine. It's just, I don't know. They gotta do something, maybe like a trophy room showcase to make it a little bit easier to click on. I don't know what it is, but guys, I'm actually quite interested on, we already know what Omega Shenron does, right? He's pretty good. He's got indestructible. Um, what else does he have? He has a uh, color nullification. He's quite tanky as well. But this guy here, he's a support unit, and I think he would go really well, and he's yellow, with, um, you know, the brand new Omega Shenron. Now, also, he's probably not going to replace Super Baby 2 on GT, but uh, he definitely brings he, his own, like, um, you know, stuff to the table, right, as a support unit. Uh, so I just want to quickly read it here with you guys. The letters are pretty small, so just listen up. We're, we're just going to browse through this really quick because it's the first time we're looking at this. So his main ability... Uh, draws a special card next now really quick tonight or is it tonight or tomorrow night uh we're gonna get the final uh hercule event where we have to inflict um what is it 100 million uh, rising rush um yeah so pretty much it, it, anyways this character is yellow so if you guys haven't beat the yellow yet this is a really good character to bring in because he he pops you know he uh you pop your main ability and you get a special card next, which is really good for that event, right? I just want to mention that. Um, also restores allies health by 25% and key by 50. That's pretty good. Um, uh, cancels allies, attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions. Also destroys all of your own cards or all of your enemies' cards. Okay, it's kind of small to read. I'm just trying to squint here. Um, reduces enemies' Dragon Balls by 2, which is really good. Seals all enemies' main abilities for 10 timer counts, and it takes 15 timer counts to pop your main ability. So, pretty solid, annoying main ability, I'd say. Uh, destroying two Dragon Balls is pretty annoying as well. Um, also, the following effects occur when uh, battle starts 100% to damage inflicted, cannot be canceled. Reduces damage, is this damage? Damage received by 70%, cannot be canceled. Minus 10 to own blast and special move art costs, cannot be canceled as well as plus 25% to uh, damage inflicted by allies cannot be canceled. So that's pretty good too. Uh, the following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. Restores own key by 50, plus 80% damage inflicted, cannot be canceled, activates once, destroys one enemy special move and um, special arts card. Okay. Also applies the following effects to self after gaining... Uh, is this five? Five or more Dragon Balls while this character is not defeated. Activates once. Okay. He restores health by 20% plus 50% damage inflicted. Cannot be canceled. Also increases card draw speed by level one. Cannot be canceled. And the following effects occur when this character is switched to standby. Um, randomly draws one new card when you have three or fewer cards. Also, Shorn's own substitution count uh, by three activates three times. Um, restores allies key by 30. And I hope I'm reading this right because this is so small. And uh, plus 10% to uh, damage inflicted by allies for 15 timer counts. Uh, reduces enemies key by 20 and inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade. Minus 15 to strike, blast, special move, ultimate, and awaken arts cards power for 10 timer counts. So that's his first, that's pretty solid, man. That's his first main ability and unique ability. I'm not going to read his second one. It's way too small here, guys, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to advise you guys to look at your end game because um, by the time you, you, you guys will probably be able uh, to read this end game for sure, but the letters are way too small and I want to make sure I'm reading the correct things here as well. So yeah, man, um, I might go live. I'm probably going to take a shower. I'm super lazy day after my birthday, honestly, <laughs> but I'm, I'm probably going to go live. So um, just, uh, you know, keep those notifications on and um, yeah, stay tuned. I'll go live probably like 30 minutes before the actual summons. So yeah, I'll probably see you guys then. And if not, then I'll uh, record the summon showcase. But, uh, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Have a good one. Peace.